So can a woman over a certain age still wear bright shimmers, bright neons, highly pigmented shades? Yes, yes we can. Welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, my name's Andy, and I'm really happy that you're here. Welcome to week 19 of Palette Collection Bingo. I put all of my palettes in a spreadsheet and I use a random number generator to tell me which palette I'm going to do for you. Okay, you guys, this week, I'm scared. I am. It is the Blend Bunny Surge Palette. I have been dreading this week, not because I don't love this palette. I love this palette. But it's, 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 it's something. So here are the shades. You have these very deep, dark shades. You have neons. You have these beautiful shimmers. And then you have some pastels. You have everything. You have everything in this palette. They are highly, highly pigmented. They are going to stain my eyeballs. Yes, they are. But I'm going to do it anyway. And I've, I've been afraid of this palette, but I've also been really, really looking forward to it. I knew that it would come up someday. I got this. I got this palette in my busy beauty in my very last busy beauty box before they stopped doing uh, the curated boxes. Sorry, I am taking these off because while I'm brave, I'm also realistic. And I also know with some of these dark shades, I'm going to have some fallout. Yes, I am. I did get these eye tapes from Shein. Um, I actually like the ones from uh, Shop Miss A better. They're not as big. I actually cut these down. These are this, this size. And they're a little large. And sometimes I cut them in half and use them. But I want as much coverage as I can because some of these are very dark. And like I said, they're very pigmented. Okay, guys. Um, I have been looking at this palette for the last three days, trying to figure out what it is I'm going to do. I wanna showcase the best of this palette. Um, I've watched some videos, and then I threw everything out of my head and decided to wing it. Yes, I did. So let's get started, want to? I'm gonna start off by taking this dark, dark purple, and it is called Covet, and I'm gonna put that in my outer corner and I am taking it very lightly. Like, this is ridiculously pigmented. I'm not loading a lot of it on my brush. I'm just using a very small, I don't know what kind of brush this is, but it's just a very small brush. And I am packing that on the outer part of my lid, including my outer corner. And let me tell you, right off, it's a dream. This formula, it is not patchy. It is, I do have eye primer on. I have the Ace Beauté, Ace Beauty, Ace Butte, whatever you want to call it, eye primer on. I am going to take that up a little bit. You guys, I didn't even ask you how your, how your week was. How's your week? Hope you had a good week just been concentrating. I've been concentrating. That is a beautiful purple shade. Yes, it is. If you guys can hear Gracie over here snoring, I'm sorry. She has, she is sawing logs. Not kidding. Okay. Now I'm going to take this Angie Hot and Flashy. This is a an A502. This is one of my favorite brushes. And I'm going to go into that Stay shade. And I'm going to bring that over. Oh my gosh. It is so pretty. I am aware that I did a purple look not too long ago. But we're doing more than purple today, guys. I promise. I was challenged when I first got this palette, when I first showed this palette, uh, when I did my Busy Beauty unboxing, Ash, my one of my 
really good friends, Ash, challenged me uh, from Makeup and Chaos, challenged me to use the neons. So you know what that means. That means I have to do it, right? Uh, I don't remember if it was a double dog dare, because then that's very serious. Back in my bar days, my friends knew that they, they could get me to do whatever they wanted by saying, I double dog dare you. You know, alcohol was involved. Come on. I was in my 20s and I'm like, you double dog dared me? What? Yep, and then it would happen. I mean, it wasn't anything crazy. It was go up and sing with the band or go hit on a guy or whatever. You guys, this formula is freaking ridiculous. Oh my gosh. It is definitely worth the hype, let me tell you. You know, a lot of times I will do one eye. I will do something on an eye and then we'll cut away and then come back, but... I'm shook by this. I am like, and I want you guys to experience this with me because it is crazy. And I'm hoping it's not going to be an awfully long video, but it might be. It might be. Um, I am going to end up putting some of that underneath my eye, but for now, but for now, while I'm unsure of this formula, I'd rather keep everything covered up. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Uh, so I had some interesting things happen at, happen at work this week. Uh, my work partner got a position out in the out on the floor, out on the out in the distribution center as a supervisor. So I will be working until they hire someone. I will be working by myself. I will be doing the job of two people. Um, I don't know what brush I want. This is an uh, this is a BH Cosmetics brush actually. I'm going to take this shade called Cheers, and I'm going to blend out that upper that upper part of my just slightly. This is kind of a it's a pink shade, but it's has a, a almost like a purple tone to it, almost kind of like like a lilac, but not really, because the next the one next to it is very lilac. Yep, this is not at all what uh, I had planned, because I told you I put everything out of my uh, everything out of my head, and was like, nope, I'm gonna wing it. Sometimes I think those turn out the best. I'm going to take this charged shade. It is one of the night neons, and it is a pink neon. And I'm going to put that um, the front part of my crease. Oh, that's bright. I like it. I do have some creasing down here, but that's okay because I'm doing something completely different on my lid. Okay, I'm going to attempt to cut my crease. It's hard to cut your crease when you have very crepey eyelids. And I'm just doing that little bit. I do have hooded eyes. So a little bit of that is getting above it, but that's okay because I have hooded eyes. Okay, I'm going to take a smaller flat brush and I am going to go into this energy. And I'm going to put that 
on my lid. And I am just tapping. Because as I've said, my lids are very crepey. They have a lot of movement to them. And I don't want any kind of lines. I want it to be a solid. A solid application. The pigment. The pigment. You guys, the pigment. This is crazy. And I'm sorry if I'm sitting here with my mouth open because I do that. Now I'm going to take this shade called Underneath and I'm going to put that on my lid. I found by watching other content creators that this goes on best with your finger. Um, I don't feel like I have a lot of control with my finger because I have fingernails. Um, so uh, I'm going to attempt it. Rather than use a brush, I'm going to attempt using, it, using my fingers, but I think I'm going to use my pinky because it's the smallest. those shimmers I don't know if you can see how amazing they are but it's pretty amazing I'm going to go back in to that shade called covet that purple and I'm going to deepen up this outer corner a little bit this outer part of my lid And then I'm going to go into this shade called Vinyl, and it is a black. And I'm going to put that right at my outer corner. And I really don't know if that's doing anything, but because that purple is pretty dark. I'm going to take that Stay shade again, and I'm going to put that in the middle and kind of blend that line. And then I'm going to use the shade called Euphoric, and I'm going to put that right in the center. It is also a shimmer. I kind of blend those two together. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to take these off. Wow. That's bright, and I freaking love it. Talk about it's outside my comfort zone. Yes. All right, I'm going to take that sweet shade again, that purple, and I'm going to go underneath my eyes, and I'm not going to talk while I'm doing it. I'm actually going to put my magnification mirror up. Blend out that line a little bit. I hope I'm not looking down too far, sorry. And this is just a little, oh, this is a Morphe brush. I thought it was an e.l.f. brush. I like using my little e.l.f. brush for that. Because it's small enough. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Um, okay, I'm going to take this Angie Hot and Flashy brush again. Is it? No, it's BH Cosmetics brush. And go back into that charged shade and I'm going to do the front part of my under eye guys those shimmers are so freaking crazy can you see that oh my gosh crazy 
Okay. Now, stand by. Because there is not a white shimmer in this, there is a shimmer called Flash. What does that look like? That's what that looks like. That's pretty light. I don't know. It's kind of a warm tone. Anyway, I'm going to go into this ColourPop Super Shock called um, Mountain Lion. And I'm going to put that on my inner corner. And I'm going to spray it. Oh, it's kind of crumbly. Hmm. Okay. You guys, I'm going to call that done. I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to do liner, lashes, and lips. And then we'll be back. I'll give you my final thoughts. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back. Finished look. So can someone who's almost 50 wear the Blend Bunny Surge Palette with all of these neons and shimmers and pigmented shades? abso freaking lootly You know why? Because they're not the boss of you. You do what you want. So again, this was an amazing palette. I freaking loved it. The pigments are perfect. The shimmers are wonderful. They do apply much better with your finger. I did try off camera to do um, with the brush and the shimmers are nice, but with your finger, these shimmers, look at that. They, they're ridiculous. They are so pretty. Um, I think this one is my favorite. My favorite, that's what I have on my lids. On the front half of my lids. Um, Worth the hype, worth the money. Um, I, in all transparency, I did get it from my Busy Beauty box, um, but I paid for my Busy Beauty box. But it is a top notch, amazing, pigmented, beautiful palette. And I 10 out of 10 recommend, definitely. So, what did I use on the rest of my face, you ask? I will tell you. I used the cream gel liner to tight line. I also used it above my lashes and I used it in my waterline, which I really rarely, rarely do. I used the Give Them Lala uh, mascara, which this I think is done for. Um, and then I used the Superhero It Cosmetics Superhero mascara on my lips. Um, I got most of it off, but I swatched a ton of lippies because I just gave my purple lippy away which is fine because I will never use it like I would probably use it today but after that who knows when I would use it again I'd much rather have someone who will use it a lot more I would much rather do that so uh the wet and wild cream gel liner or I'm sorry cream lip liner in got the juice um tried that and then I put this NYX, hmm, what is the shade? It is a little mini NYX in Budapest. And I wasn't quite happy with that. So on top of that, um, I used my Queen Nubia Cosmetics uh, Lippy in My Lisa. Um, it is kind of a red brown, but with... On top of this, I really like the shade of it. I really like it. The formula is really nice. It is a matte. So on top of that, just in the middle, right there, I use my Anastasia of Beverly Hills. Um, this is a lip gloss, and I don't really know what kind it is, but I will try to tell you the shade. It is in Venus, and it is a shimmer. I got some lipstick on it. It is a shimmer, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful shimmer. So I wanted that to, I wanted like a little bit of like a vinyl, like a vinyl look. Thank you guys so much for joining me for week 19's palette collection bingo. I was super afraid of this week. I drew that palette and then I was like, 
oh, I, I'm not ready for that yet. I, I got to redraw. And then I was like, you know what? No, that's the palette that came up. That's the palette you're going to use. You're just going to take a little time with it. You're going to take your time. You're going to do your placement where you want it. And this is the finished look. And let me tell you what, I'm in love with it. I am in love with it. I am in love with the palette. I also have the blends palette and the dollhouse. So I can't wait to use either one of those. Oh my gosh. I appreciate you being here, guys. And until our next adventure, everyone have a great day and we'll see you later.